Um, in this problem, what they're asking us to do is to find the asymptotes. All right. So there's three asymptotes we're going to work on. Horizontal asymptote. Now, to identify horizontal asymptotes, though, well, before we even do anything, if you guys remember, whenever we see something that could be factorable, always just want to factor it, right? So let's factor. We can't factor our, our numerator. But my denominator, I can factor this into x minus 3 times x uh, plus 1. All right, I factored it. Does anything divide out? No. But that's important to know because if something did divide out, then I would have a whole instead of an asymptote, right? So if I'm asking you for the asymptotes and you're giving me a whole, that would be wrong. So we, don't, we want to make sure we factor it to make sure we get rid of any holes. But in this case, we don't have any asymptotes, so therefore our two asymptotes, we just set our, um, I'm going to take the factored form, and you set it equal to 0. Just like finding the domain. It's really the exact same process because the asymptotes are not within the domain. Then I apply the zero product property. And I can say x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. Those are my two vertical asymptotes. They're also what's not in the domain. Yes? And you wrote a horizontal asymptote. Sorry, that's a vertical asymptote. Is everybody OK with finding vertical asymptotes? The only thing different with writing the domain is now we'd have to write it in interval notation of what the domain would be. Yes? Yes, because that's what we call it removable, because it's dividing out removable discontinuity. All right, the next one is the horizontal asymptotes. So in, your first, in the first chapter, we talked about horizontal asymptotes. To find the horizontal asymptotes, what you need to do is compare the degree of each polynomial, the degree in the numerator compared to the degree in the denominator. When the degree in the um, denominator is greater than the degree in the numerator, you will need to know that your horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Always, always, always. Whenever the degree in the denominator is larger than the degree in the numerator, your horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Then the last asymptote is the slant asymptote. Um, well, guys, if you have a horizontal asymptote, there is not going to be a slant asymptote. So we'll just say that's none. Then the next.